familiar and somewhat synonymous with the Minnesota Golden Gopher program. Welcome, uh, Piper, and congratulations, first of all, on your promotion. And what has the last uh, 48 hours been like for you? Um, it hasn't changed much, to be honest. Um, I know it. I know usually when you transition from an assistant or even transition from a school to a different school, there is a lot of whirlwind behind it. But a lot the only thing is I've gotten way more text messages than I ever have. So um, that's probably been the main thing. I'm still working on the schedule, still working on, you know, things for, you know, things for the fall, um, trying to get my staff together. That's probably what I'm doing right now is trying to figure out when we do get to go on the road. And when that happens, if I can um, be ready to, you know, take a full staff with me. All right. Let's send it over now to Hall of Fame stadium reporter, Holly Rowe. Well, Piper was there at the Hall of Fame Stadium last year with the Women's College World Series. And I think it's really neat, Coach Ritter, because you, you guys have gone through two head coaches in the last three years there at Minnesota. And I really like that they wanted to stay with someone who was consistent with the program. 13 years you've been there. And all I needed to know is Lindsay Whalen tweeted that she supported your hire. So if Lindsay <laughs> Whalen is okay with you, then so am I. Uh, but but what what importance did it say to you that this was something they wanted to keep continuity with this coaching staff for this team? You know, I've I've always believed in Minnesota. That's probably why I've been there for as long. Um, you know, whether it's a different head coach and I was in an assistant role, but I've de I've believed in the athletic department. I always have. Um, from when I was a player to when I was a coach. So I, I knew they always did what was right for the program and what was best for the program's needs right then. So I was very excited to take this opportunity. Coach, one of the things that I feel like coaching at your alma mater, there's, there's always this sense of pride that goes into the student athlete and understanding what it means to be um, even more than just winning. What would you say is a main goal besides what you're gonna accomplish on the field that you learned even being a student athlete there yourself? You know, you know, I think that's right. I think when you go out and you recruit, like I, I you know, I say things from the heart mainly because I have been at Minnesota and that's probably all I know. But, you know, I, I, I know what classes they're going to. I know, you know, I know where they work out and, you know, I've, I've been and I've worked out in the same spots that they've worked out. And I think just moving forward, you know, I, I want to continue, you know, making them excellent in the classroom, both on, in the classroom and on the field. I think that's a, it's a main priority. I think there's a lot of things that you can do at Minnesota to be great. Um, we're very good at softball and um, I hope to continue to be very good at softball, but I want them to leave with an a degree and an education to move forward.